All right, let me rewind this shit. Watch this. That was Go pretty good. Mm, yeah, that just sound like a some yeah. rewind shit, though. <laughs> All right, y'all, what's happening? It's episode 17 of the BBC Club Podcast. That's the Black, Black Boy Content Club. I'm one of your three hosts, your resident supervillain, Mr. J. Washington. These are the other niggas that's going to introduce themselves. Boom. Hey, it's your boy Moses Prim, man, the hood all-star himself. Hey. We in here. It's a good-ass day, man. How you doing, everybody? This is the Dark Attack Chris Burns in the building, reminding you that this podcast is always brought to you by NAN, the National Association for the Advancement of Niggas and Niggas Like, like you. you. And Thank we appreciate you. you watching watching us live out here in these streets. But we got a new sponsor this week. What's the sponsor this we week? We got a new sponsor this week. It's uh, niggas who still go for that walk with your cousin at <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> Shout out to the Thanksgiving walk, Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Like, yo, we about yeah, to just hit the block walk. one time. Yeah, let's yeah, yeah. This walk you come back quick. hella lethargic and shit. Yeah, Look, I mean, yeah, me and my cousins got bold since we like grown ass men now, but we yeah. still we still can't smoke <laughs> yeah, right, 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 function, right. so we'll go right we go like right around the corner. I remember one time my uh, my aunt was coming out and she almost caught us and we had to fucking <laughs> run like through the back door and that shit was terrifying. Isn't it and, wild to be a grown man and still have like a healthy fear of your like mom and well, auntie's I think that's shit. definitely, yeah, that's definitely a thing. They solidified that shit early, you <laughs> yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It was cra- when I was back in Africa. Chicago for my grandfather's funeral, my brother, all of us smoke weed, but it just, it used to be like you said, when you younger, you, you know what I'm saying, the, the adults and shit like that. But my brother was like, he finna roll up and then my motherfucking auntie was like, yo, where the weed at? I was like, oh, oh, shit. oh that's shit. ratchet ass auntie. Jeez, bro. I know, right? Nigga, he <laughs> caught me off guard. Like, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, I am grown and shit. Like, cause me, it was me, my brother, the cousins, my aunts, all everybody was just on the porch, just getting high shit. And it was like, ah, okay, bet. But nonetheless, let me make sure I get this shit out the way. Thank you to everybody that's been rocking with us for the past several weeks. Yes, everybody sir. that commented on everything. Um on the last podcast, on the last episode, whether it be the iTunes, what's the where we at with the ratings? Did oh, you? we had uh, I checked to, I checked just today. We had ninety six five star reviews. We almost there. We closing in on that bitch ass podcast that got one hundred and seventeen. But like I You're said, so aggressive. At one hundred and thirteen, <laughs> I'm gonna give away a free Nanster still. So just That's for right, y'all. Baby. Ride with also, us. Also, we gonna get like Nan Buffer stickers. Yeah, so we gonna give away a few Nan shirts. Hey, yeah, shout out to you. Throw some one star reviews in there too. No, man, no, no. Yeah, that's the fuck fuck's up algorithm. Bro. No, that's what, okay, some never mind. Like man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, <laughs> every <laughs> engagement, man. Engagement helps. You fuck know our man? shit up one time, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> hey, we trying to get shit up there, but you know what? I want to be different. Let me throw some one stars. The fuck. Hey, it, it still helps, man. No, 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 it doesn't, nigga. <laughs> yeah, no, it does. If it's, a, if it's a controversial, uh, you know what I mean. I mean, if it's a controversial podcast, they, <laughs> See, I'm just freaking be, out you know over I mean? there. Like, hey, you give us the one star, right man. No, 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 no. Five stars all the way. All the way, time. all the way. You can, you can give us <laughs> fucked up comments on YouTube. That's fine. Like, these oh, niggas Jesus. is crazy. That's cool. I don't, I, you know what? Look. Please five star reviews. <laughs> uh-huh. Please don't. We almost there, y'all. So fuck with us. Also, shout out to everybody. Been yo, IG been popping lately. Yeah. So shout out to everybody on Instagram that's been following us, and like the fact that they go follow the pod and then go follow us individually, yeah, yeah. which has been dope. So we appreciate all y'all. Um, yeah. So look, there's a lot of shit we didn't get to last week, but we gonna get to this week. This is the one thing we definitely was gonna talk about. So Prim, use a young nigga. Okay. I have to preface that because you probably ain't gonna have no motherfucking clue what we're talking about. Yeah. There is a documentary of uh, Freak Nick coming Freak out. Freak Nick. Yes, yes. Every, the, the fabled Freak Nick yeah. festival. Nigga, don't it. say fabled. That shit is legendary. Nigga, there's a uh-huh. difference. It was still. So I got to Atlanta in 2001, the year after they canceled it. And it was still like, you know how you go the to like. Nigga. You ever been to Alabama? And you still no. feel like the remnants of slavery in the yes. soil. I was, I, was in, I, was in, I was in Birmingham back in May, and I was like, "Oh, somebody just called me a nigga." Yeah, in the yeah, air. you just it's in mm-hmm. the air. It's in like, the air. and that's what the ass was in Atlanta from Freak Nick. It was still yeah. just like, Wait. no, no, it was. Uh, I'm know. just trying to figure out how like you compare racism ass. to <laughs> ass in the I'm air. I'm just saying, no, like nigga, something, you're... something happened here. You know what I mean? You just got a feeling piece. I'm fucking. I'm just talking about the residuals. You know what I mean? Like you got off the plane and you would. <laughs> this, was, was, this was it. Yeah. Huh? Oh, you just tasted ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was absolutely. Like, it was absolutely. like auntie butt cheek. Mm, and then like, we was like, damn, man, boy, how we missed out, man. Your aunties was probably there to smoking that. <laughs> I would not be surprised. No, I would know for a fact one of my aunties would be there. Damn. I know one wouldn't. 
Uh, but that's been the best thing about this shit. It's well, been- so, uh, so so uh, are you guys familiar with Bike Week? You know what Bike Week is? Is that hell in, yeah? Uh, okay. Some Myrtle Beach or something like that? Yeah, or? I think it's mm-hmm. around. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. I've never been, but that's a that's another popular one too, where it's just ass up in there. Yep. So I think there's been there's. There's been imitators and there's been, I guess, attempts at yeah. yeah. They tried it, to redo yeah. Freak Nick and it just couldn't. But I hear like shit like that is popping, like Bike Weekend. Like what, Bike Weekend's always been popping. Spiritual successor. To no, Freak this is Nick what really. it is. Freak Nick evolved into what is now known as the Essence Fest. Yeah, because <laughs> niggas got old. <laughs> everybody got older. Freak Nick is the Essence Fest. The Essence Fest, like Essence Magazine. Yeah. Oh wow. They yeah, do a whole weekend, Fourth of July weekend in New Orleans. They do. Yeah. yeah. And everybody, <laughs> every auntie, you know, every Glenda and shit that was at fucking Freak Nick. Now they out here wearing just nothing but flats, and they out here listening right. to Brian McKnight and Bobby Brown struggling the all white suit. <laughs> okay. Like they listening to all this shit. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, also, real quick, now I know y'all are listening to this late. Some of y'all listening to this later. For those that are watching us live, though, fuck with us in the chat. You know, we see y'all in the chat. Fuck with us with the uh, with the super chat joints too, right? I mean, yeah, they know how to use YouTube. I just want to make sure. Fuck? Well, no, no, I know they know how to use, it, but you always want to just keep people engaged <laughs> yeah, in the shit. Man, this ain't my first live stream. We be out, we be out, we be out here, man. Okay, you know game. what? Oh, shout out game, Greg man. Simpson. I know all about Kappa Beach Party in Galveston. All okay. The, all the before the Kappa Two K Two Swisher House mixtapes from back in the yeah, day. Yeah, them frat niggas probably was. Yeah, and I know all about it. Anything that the Qs do, boy, it is about to be reckless. Uh-huh. But uh, what's funny time. about this Freak Nick shit is how like people are, like panicking because yes. they didn't realize there was footage of their activities Which is, around. Yeah, the that's time. the crazy. That's why uh-huh. everybody so they didn't know they were getting no, they, bro, nobody, was because the, be. there was no camera phones. So right. they, so I thought it was like a festival. It was. It wasn't like no performances. A, and no, shit. no, no. It started as literally a get together, a get together for the the black colleges in Atlanta. Okay. For to just mm-hmm. like fellowship to get to know one another, right? And then it just evolved into this wild situation that like you know people was coming from out of town and it just and it was okay. adults Bro, that wasn't even in was, school thought, okay, but like, I thought you it was, like was a fucking festival, at like Freaknik that's the thing it's not nah, no, like no, no 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 okay. no you knew you was fucking at Freaknik oh wow yeah, yeah. The thing is, you was fucking you would have people doing just random shit on the street just hedonistic shit. Just, just hedonistic oh all the, the fucking way over. The, the advertisement, the picture on the advertisement is niggas holding chick's ass open. Oh, even for wow. the Hulu dots. Yeah. And the then it's like... Butt cheeks open. <laughs> just yeah, open yeah, yeah, anus, yeah. nigga. Just, How else you think the ass got into the air? Man, nigga, it's, it's no Stargate, crazy. nigga. It's Stargate of booty, nigga. It's Stargate. Hey, that sounds uh, dangerous, low key. <laughs> that sounds like you're going to catch something. Hell niggas got pink eye. Freak, 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 <laughs> yeah, you hey, I'll take pink eye. You did too, nigga, getting off the plane. He was like, what's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> ass of years past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you touched lips. the ground. <laughs> Ooh, this was light skin. <laughs> 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 That's a red bone. This is a red bone uh-huh. ass right here. Okay, mm-hmm. this one. She got a lace front on. I taste this lace front in the air. <laughs> but like, it was just wild because some people are like the, the now people are trying to offset it. Be like, well, if you are gonna do a freak Nick, you got to do a girls going wild. All this, which of course they gonna <laughs> fucking do. Yeah, but the fact that people are <laughs> Paranoid, yeah, because that means everybody, quote unquote, and all these people that are, that are yeah, paranoid. Key. They I would got, be paranoid too. Yeah, they didn't became these high profile people. They either, you know, saying they work in like execs in corporate offices. I mean, they even if you're a regular ass. person, you got kids now, and yeah, somebody yeah, eat yeah. your ass on a documentary, <laughs> you weren't expecting. That's it. why That's we haven't heard from up. Kamala Harris in so long. She knew this documentary yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was coming. Uh, <laughs> Straight up, uh, out here like. Um, Joe, Joe, there's something I gotta him. tell you, Joe. <laughs> like, Ooh. Can no. you imagine if the VP, the current vice president, she's from the Bay, nigga? She's definitely that's crazy. And she a Kappa, Kappa. and she AKA, she AKA, right? Yeah, yeah, I think and she so. AKA. Oh, she probably was ski weeing on a on a cutlass. Yeah. Ski weeing, let's <laughs> go. <laughs> cutlass, yeah, I, I want to see that. <laughs> but like, you got all y'all these smashing people. Carmel Harris. Hell yeah, I still yeah, hit yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, make yeah, sure, we're, make sure we're on the same page. <laughs> okay. all right. We all, yes, we all would hit a <laughs> fucking got power. Hairs. Hey, shout out to Queenie. Yeah, shout I'm going to get the sound effects on here. Shout yeah, out to JP Run that says, I thought there was already a Girls Gone Wild documentary. Well, that settles that shit. I mean, Girls Gone Wild itself is a yeah. documentary. Yeah, I mean, documentary is, going wild, yeah. But it was always just like, every time you see the commercials and everything, it was just titties. I think there is a Girls Gone Wild documentary, actually, but it's not like a... 
It's not. It's not pleasant. It's, not it's like a deep, dark secret <laughs> right, type right, of shit. Right, right. You know but what's yeah, hilarious though? One, in this motherfucking freaking doc, it's gonna be somebody with the most serious of voices doing the narration. What started? Keith David as uh, <laughs> what started as just a lovely event in beautiful downtown Atlanta transcended into something uh, so much more. And now you like what the fuck? <laughs> like I, I'm. This yeah, is just terrifying. I can't wait. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, when's the curious. release date? When's the drop? That's the thing. They, they haven't told anybody when it drops. Damn. That's the one thing Hulu has not done. So it fuck around me because it's like it says it's just gonna drop. Got me like on the sneakers app, just waiting for this damn thing <laughs> to come out, bro. I wanna see that. Wait, shit, oh, I think I just saw it. May seventh. Oh, I think I just close. saw. It. Scroll down a little okay, bit. It's next week. Oh, oh. Yeah, that yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that it? Or is no, no, no. That's oh, never mind. That's not it. Oh, oh yeah, okay. something else. Well, we'll figure that's it out. We'll, we'll find out. Niggas we'll is out here actively trying to find out. So what the fuck yeah, is they yeah. We this shit, trying dude. to figure out like it's the actual freak nigga. Yeah, I'm happens. trying to get a, a freak nigga reboot. No, nah, it's <laughs> different. Nah, but they tried different. that. Like I said, they different. tried that already, and that shit did not do anything. It's like oh. you you'll never recapture. Yeah, the moment's the, gone. Yeah, yeah, you'll never recapture that magic. You know what I'm saying? They try to do Woodstock again, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. They'll yeah. never recap. You'll never get the same level of freak nigga because it all is just on OnlyFans now. Like you're not gonna get all that shit. Oh yeah, no. I'm saying, yeah, they can definitely have some conventions or some people are becoming more sex positive <laughs> now. And conventions? We could definitely have a freak Nick convention. Yeah, we could do freak Nick conference and shit. I'm First, the, I'm the, the I'm sex the kickback. <laughs> now you want a freak Nick convention. conference, nigga? <laughs> Hey, that's what I'm saying. You, you can, write it you off at work and shit. You go. Well, you know, hey, 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 Chris, listen, um, I'm not gonna be able to come into the office this week. Uh, I'm gonna do some. Um, I'm gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna be working remote. I'm gonna be going to the Freaknik conference. Oh, I've, got my, I've got my badge. Like, yeah, you got, got a badge. badge. All that, all that. I've got my badge with and a my badge. credentials. <laughs> I've got my credentials already, nigga. What the fuck? He just like got a lanyard. That's the only thing covering your dick. That's funny. That's the longest lanyard. Hey, that's funny. Oh uh, my god! Shit. Yeah, shout out Freak Nick, man. Uh, I wish I could have been there. Uh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I mean, shout out to Bike Week if y'all want to have a Bike Week is one of those things. It's like you just go, just like Freak Nick, you just go. So uh, you know, you be like, yo, if somebody invite me out, blah 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 blah, and you just like fuck it, you just there. Uh, I mean, the older I get, the more I don't want to even do shit like that no more, just because I'm. More, I'm more paranoid now. Like when I was young, I was like, you know, yeah, yeah. I didn't really care if shit popped off. Yeah, or, an element of you know danger I mean? made it yeah, more exciting right? back then. Yeah. Now, now I'd be not, like, nigga, my knee hurt. For that, right? nigga, now <laughs> this shit just everywhere, just randomly. Yeah. Nigga, oh yeah, is somebody the most kept definitely catching your ass, bro. I'm a, I'll risk it all on a daily yeah. doing this podcast for my corporate ass <laughs> job. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say some wild, some little too wild. Uh I have to. I have. If you notice, like I'll say some wild shit here, but I still got to tread the line because working in the nerd world, you. You got a bunch of motherfuckers that be like, well, how you going to say this here? And I'm like, oh, I don't want to deal with that shit. You know, so I just want to keep getting my money I get from new rock stars, all this uh -huh. other shit. Yeah. You told this lie, but camera phones have fucked up the game. Absolutely. They have fucked up the game. Freak Nick was this shit that you would kick it at. Niggas just out here. Yo, if anybody, you know, we talk about sex positive shit like y'all both brought up. That should be able to happen again. Well, see, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you have the conference, you make it more formal, then you know you can take the phones. You know, yeah, what yeah. I mean, make sure there's no phones. <laughs> Man, a lot everybody of have a good time at, at, the, at the convention bags, center, like a Dave Chappelle that should be at the convention center. Yeah, hilarious, <laughs> <laughs> sir. I'm gonna need your condoms in your phone. Excuse me, what? <laughs> I mean, because look, I mean, there's. You know, white people still do it, like the Folsom Street Fair and uh -huh. all that in Frisco. What the fuck is? Wait, you said prim in a leather gimp suit. Uh, yeah, 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 shit like that. With his dreads out, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, and the glasses up front and of the it. glasses is on top of the mask. Gimp mask. <laughs> I'm out here. This yeah, suit tight as fuck. My mouth is about to shoot. I can't. Like, you I'm sweaty as hell. This thing is like, what the fuck? What would you say? What's the Folsom Street Fest joint? I'm not that's the, that's in the Bay. That's like when the, the freaky whites come out. What was it? What's it called? <laughs> Folsom Street Fair. Oh, yeah. Because they be doing, like, even like Florida. Burning like, Florida another. be having, like, community, whole communities of yeah, swingers yeah, yeah. and random shit but like that's that. That's what I'm saying. So, that, they've wait. committed to a lifestyle. First yeah. of all, I need to yeah, know the date of yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you niggas keep talking about a, yeah. a swinger vacation and yeah, shit, yeah, like a free yeah. vacation. Well, hedonism and Jamaica. Said the wholesome uh -huh. street fair. There's all kind of shit, bro. Years. We should go to these and like <laughs> yeah, get great report content. On them? Yeah, we should, bro. Nigga, I used to go back in the day when we Take were doing radio, notes. me and my uh, old co-host J.R. Bang, we had Educated Insanity. Yeah. We covered Exotica like one of the first years it came to Chicago. Oh, we gonna have some porn stars here. We did the documentary. We did the documenting of it, everything like that. So, 
shout out to JP Runs and says the only Folsom I know is a prison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? I'm still trying Folsom Street Fair. Yeah, uh, he said Folsom Street is crazy. He, uh, this nigga say he live out there. It's a, yeah, it's I'm a trying to see what that's like. Yeah, yeah, that's it's, it's out of control. That's not, it's, it's weird. Whoa, not, it's probably not sexy. Though. Wait, Jay just saw some shit to change his life. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the Freak Nick doc. They caught his ass. They caught his ass. Hey, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> the Folsom Street Events is a registered nonprofit that unites the leather, kink, and alt sex communities yeah. with the safe consent focus. Okay. Uh, wow. Yeah, okay. we should go in Tim's and just, Tim's and leather, <laughs> just, going, fucking, it. And just record and just create content. It would, the BBC Club takes the Folsom Street Fair. It would be hilarious. Uh, it's January, July 30th. Uh, it's going, no, this one, I'm sorry. Up Wait. Your Alley is July 30th. That's the 40th right. annual Folsom Street Fair is semi, September 24th. Uh, okay. Make sure y'all get tested first. Yeah, 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 before y'all yeah. go out there oh, trying to do anything. Nigga, listen. Below, <laughs> Wait, this is what it says on the actual fucking website. Keep yourself in our community safe. Follow the current CDC recommendations. Yeah. Get vaccinated and boosted for COVID-19 and monkeypox. That's not what the fuck I meant. I meant yeah. herpes, the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant yeah. you're going to get you the with an N95 Keep- mask on with no <laughs> clothes on. But wait, clean your hands often. Avoid close contact. What the fuck type? Nah, nigga, they don't follow them rules. Wow, you got Wear the a mask and then you got to clean and disinfect. <laughs> I mean, that's a given. Yeah, I would appreciate it. You just ride this motherfucking wiper down leather all over. <laughs> you just like, excuse me, sir, I got deep. Well, if you're getting fluids quick. on your shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, Please just... clean and disinfect. Yeah, that's going to be Corey Holcomb and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to tell you about these lousy bitches. <laughs> <laughs> the bitch, if the bitch have the baby, did you ever see that clip they put <laughs> on the fucking YouTube right. when they talk about stuff? Yeah. You know, I hate when a bitch act like she, when she loses the baby, you got to act like you were sad. <laughs> oh, be, yeah. Oh, no, I saw the wild baby. boy, man. <laughs> yeah, he always got Corey's this crazy wild. ass Yo. bitch, man. That's nigga. Yeah, shout out Corey Holcomb. What's next, man? What we got? Oh, yeah, what we doing? So we didn't get a chance to talk about this when it initially dropped. Ali Wong and Steven Young have a dope series on Netflix called Beef. Now, you yeah. said you haven't seen it yet, bro. No, I haven't seen it. You've watched how much have you watched the whole thing? I've seen the whole thing. What do you? What's your overall? Highly recommend. Like it. Who who uh, are these people? Ali Wong. She's the Chinese pregnant comedian. She's not pregnant in this. She's still pregnant. That's basically basically the best way to describe Ali. Because every special from Ali Wong, she is pregnant. Is is Ali Chinese? Yes. I mean, I'm sorry for Chinese, but (laughs) I mean, he didn't even know. (laughs) If that's the wrong country, I apologize. (laughs) You know what I mean? Wong, Wong sounds like a Chinese. Okay, so, listen. So, uh, yeah, you I guessed think, right. Yeah. You, know what? No, no, you guessed who's right. The, who's the other guy? I'm not familiar the with him. The other dude was uh, Glenn in um, Glenn in The Walking oh, Dead. Walking Dead. Okay. He's the voice of Invincible in the cartoon. Okay. Oh, he is? Yeah, yeah. he is. A, uh, yeah, he's but uh, the show I thought was phenomenal. It takes some twists and turns that I de- definitely wasn't expecting. Because, I mean, it, it, it lets you know kind of from the jump, oh, this is a different kind of show. You... Expecting one thing, it takes a whole left turn, mm. and then when it hits like episode eight, nine, it gets like insane, like oh, yeah? insane. And but it was damn well done, kind of like, uh, like a comedy or is like an action. Yeah, it's, like a it's, a drama. Drama. it's a dramedy. Drama There's anything comedy else. to it, but okay. it's more. Uh, yeah, you just gotta watch it. It's, it's it's something. It's nothing like I've seen on TV in a long time. I'll yeah, because it, it does. It take a it, it take a lot of twists. Because again, you hear. Stevie Young likes to do, likes to do a lot of comedic shit now on top of all the serious shit he's doing. Yeah. Ali Wong is Ali Wong. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So you think this is going to be some funny shit all the way through and it's like the little bit of shit that happens, you know what I'm saying, in the beginning it's it's funny but it's not over the top comedic, right? Right, right. But this is what the shit that sets everything in motion and shit go wild. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. episode is this? I'm not about oh, to sit through. No, niggas in the very beginning. Comedy. Okay. Niggas in the very like in the first 5 yeah. minutes. Okay. No, it it is a comedy, but okay, it just takes right, dark right. ass. Yeah, ah, yes, right, yeah, that's yeah, fair. Yeah. It takes dark. Ass. Can we tell them about the one part though we were talking about? Oh, where she was with the gun? Yes. Yeah, so that's what I mean. Like, you watching the show, and then at one part, Allie started uh, masturbating with a gun. With a gun? Not man. putting it inside of her, but she's like clicking a gun with no bullets oh, in it while she touched herself. And her husband, and you think her husband and, talking about why she want the gun because you think she's suicidal. Right. right. But it's not because she's suicidal. <laughs> yeah. It's because she's been getting off she with been the gun, She's been jerking off nigga. with the motherfucker. Okay. This is fucking that's crazy. quirky, man. That's different, man. That's what I mean. It's that's just different. like, and I was like, oh, this show is... It's a it's it's not what I thought it was. She like that real steel. And so I started watching the rest, and it's fine. I'm gonna give it a try. Hey, yeah, somebody brought it up. 
up too. Uh, I don't think we actually talked about uh, I was gonna R.I.P. Wait. Jerry Springer, yeah, man. That's man. Oh, crazy. Yeah. That's R.I.P. Crazy, Jerry man. Springer. Speaking of freak Nick and all that. Wild Speaking shit, of freaky yeah, shit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Yo, King Freaky. Yo, do you remember like if you were at home sick as a kid? That yeah. shit was fucking flame. <laughs> Bro, that shit was. You fire. just watched motherfucking Jerry Springer. You be mad nigga? when it go off because it's a paid programming or some shit after that moment. Yeah, right. <laughs> but oh. hey, man. Yeah, shout out Jerry Springer. Yeah, I streamed uh, a couple of Jerry Springer episodes yesterday for him. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely definitely watch some more Jerry Springer on the Twitch. So, yeah, y'all follow me on Twitch. I just love when we'll people stand that. up and slap the dog shit out of each yes. other. Because like, oh, oh. a lot of Jerry, especially the later seasons or whatever, a lot of that shit was fake, but like a lot of, like that shit was no, real. When it like, first started really, popping off, they, they was, was fighting. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a like, clip that shit I saw the crazy, bro. Like, I saw I, on Twitter. It's a clip where this motherfucking chick is it's a white chick with a black dude. Always. And she was like, <laughs> he was like, I have something to tell you. And you know, normally you think it's probably that I'm a woman or things mm-hmm. like that. That was probably was heavy. With your girl, that, your right, sister that was prominent, heavy on that shit. But this motherfucker said, I'm black. Old girl jumps oh, up. Oh, yeah, I did see that. When she was that. like, You're a nigger. I didn't know. Oh, I, I couldn't whoa. See. See, okay, that's fake. No, was, was he light like, skinned or tell, something? Huh? Was he light skinned or something? No, this nigga looked like a yeah, nigga. Yeah, that's fake. That's <laughs> fake. <laughs> he looked like a nigga. He told her he was from what? A Trini or some shit? Some what did he say? Like, I don't know what chick thought, well, you couldn't be. You from the island and shit yeah, like that. He thought he was Middle Eastern or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what I was like. Could you say she could? She thought he was like Middle Eastern, Indian, something like that. But I was like, nah. Yes. Shout out to our producer, yo, sis. Jerry Springer and the Price, Price is right. right. Yep, stay at home, sick combo, nigga. You be playing the Price is Right games at home. Like, I fuck you to get there. Bro, I'm low key nice as shit at the Price is Right, bro. I think maybe they just be having pressure on them like, <laughs> in, in live, but like, I'll be killing that shit. Nobody man. was ever more gangster than my grandma at Price is Right. <laughs> that she wasn't. To this day, any grocery store I go to, if I put in her phone number, that, that membership is active, bro. It's, it's <laughs> active. It's active. She hey, knew Loki, every price. I'll probably get, I'll probably get with her. Did y'all have I'll probably game? get with her, bro. Prim Did versus not... my grandma. Who will win? <laughs> <laughs> price is right. You put up the street fighter shit right now. Do y'all have a favorite game from the Price is Right? Oh, the mountain climber. That's what I was nah, in the clip. That shit was awesome. Because like, yo. Yeah, yeah, that was great. I mean, you used to be mad because you'd be seeing that nigga go up. You'd be like, please don't let this nigga fall. Please don't let this nigga fall. And it was like, just go over. That shit was tight. Uh, yeah, so like, we wanted to say, but let's go back to Jerry Springer, man. Like, his show just changed the talk show format game. You know, you had Phil Donahue, you had the fucking Geraldo Rivera's that had the occasional action, but it was like every episode you knew some shit was going down yeah. on Jerry Springer. Like that's when you, I think that's when the world got introduced. Well, not the world, the mainstream mainstream public got introduced to people saying that I'm really a man. Yeah, I, was, I said that yesterday too. I'm like, yeah, he, I mean, I don't know if it's a necessarily a good look, but he was definitely putting transgender people on. He was the one putting transgender <laughs> yeah. people I mean, on. if you were going to see him anywhere, you know, it would be hella confusing the time where he's like, she, people would be like, oh, by the way, I'm a woman. And it's like, what have you been fucking her with this yeah. whole time? And y'all well, just no, in the they, dark? The lights, the lights like, are yeah. off. The lights like, off. I tape it up or whatever. Yeah, like you don't feel this. I just hate it. Yeah, you, like you don't feel that on the side, bitch. Is that a hairball? Shit crazy, dog. Shouts out to everybody in the chat going, Plinko was, yo, Plinko yeah, gave nah, you anxiety, nah, nigga. Nah, that's just pure, Plinko pure gives luck. you anxiety. I don't like that. <laughs> you like some skill like and luck. Nah, Lucky, not, Lucky Seven was the one. Remember, they get, he gave you the $7. Right. Oh, yeah, and then yeah, you start was, off yeah, with that the was, one, that nigga. Fire. That was my favorite. I'd be like, you got to look at this car. You'd be like, all right, this is a Ford Focus. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, this is a Ford Escort back in the day. Uh-huh. How much for this shit? Let's <laughs> go. Yeah, shout out Jerry Springer, though. You're an all star, man. Yeah, rest in peace, man. Yeah, man. Rest in peace, Jerry Springer. Hopefully, uh, your legacy will live on through other shows beside the Steve Wilco show. Uh, <laughs> that's just still going. Too. Yes, that's it is. That's why I brought mind. that up. Um, so we were listening to this joint before we went <laughs> on air. I know a lot of y'all have heard about this. AI covers. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, yeah. These AI covers, bro. There's one with it's Rihanna covering Beyonce. Yeah. And the shit is one. cold. And you just played one Burns. Talk about that. Bro, okay, okay. So I'm I'm curious about this, right? Because the one that's going crazy on Twitter is the the Drake and the Weekend one. But I say Drake and Weekend with quotation marks and shit because it's like it's it's not really them. You know what I mean? And 
if like if I played it right now, yeah, could, nobody's could they gonna copyright, copyright you. strike Fuck us? No, yeah, like, you no. know what I mean? I don't think it could though. Because it's, I'm it's sure a they're gonna have ass computer. Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna have some sort of well, uh, litigation at some point with yeah. that. But yeah, right now it's just because the thing is, it picks is up. It's like it does like do the algorithms for YouTube and shit like that and Twitch. They do like Shazam almost. Yeah. Where they listen to the lyrics, but I don't know if that lyrics one will fucking you know match uh -huh. up. Hey, shout out to Amir, man. Yeah, the homie Amir just uh, gave us a super chat. Uh, appreciate said, Fellas, Name a movie slash series that no matter how many times you see it, be praised as one of the greatest films of all time. To this day, you've never been interested in watching it. Ooh, so, my, so, so Boomerang, right? <laughs> Here we go. I watched. My mom called me earlier or whatever, and she was like, "I thought Eddie Murphy was sexy in Boomerang." <laughs> That's a weird way to start a conversation too. But yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, she was mad about me going at uh she was of course, man. I can't get away from this shit. Nah, man. nah, boomerang is yo fucking so, yeah, Achilles. If it heel, wasn't dog. that or it's it's uh what else? For me, you've mentioned yeah. several on here, like yeah, Ten you got, Commandments. And, yeah, you like, like Ten yeah, Commandments. You don't like, you don't like the Lord. You don't like. <laughs> you don't like the Lord. You don't like the Murphys. You don't like nobody. No, no, there. it's not true. What, what what's yours? You have the Big one? Bang Theory. Okay, I yeah, cannot yeah. get into that show for at all. Everybody swears by it. I cannot get into Big Bang Theory at all. That's well, weird. I, mean, yeah, I don't think whole, it's our demographic, but I mean, yeah, yeah low key, you in the whole be, ass yeah. nerd community. Yeah. yeah, but it's like there's a level of nerddom. Uh huh. <laughs> that shit is in a whole other cat. That nerddom for me falls under the critical role D and D type joint. Yeah. Oh, you know, I have a good ass one actually too, mm. man. Uh, Wait, there's an AI Miley Cyrus album. Oh, that's fire. What she? So Miley Cyrus fans are convinced that she secretly released the album under the name oh, Clara Pierce. Easy. Huh. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Very Damn, weird. that's cheap, bro. You can't be doing that now. Because yeah, like you said earlier, like now with this shit popping off, like you could just make the AI song and then have the artist like fine tune it and proofread it and just re actually release the song. Like that's what I'm now saying. you don't have to have no producers, you no have writers, to have no, no creativity. Nothing. Yeah, you, you don't got. Like, you just need to crazy. make that's, two, three things or or nothing well, at I mean, all. I mean, that's just kind of been going that way for a minute. I still yeah. try to the understand why motherfuckers kind of think AI is the best fucking thing to happen right now. Oh, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> hey, look, it, it's, it's, it, it, nah, bro. It's just like it's fucking. Like you said, there's no creativity. Uh -huh. It takes away from real ideas and motherfuckers creating things. And it's just like, yo, okay, it's dope to hear uh, what would Drake sound like singing a weekend song? Uh -huh. What would Rihanna sound like singing? A, you know, shit like that is dope to hear. Yeah. But we're going to fuck around and have one of these fucking joints get nominated for a Grammy. I promise you. I mean, you. honestly, I don't mind. Like, I don't care anyway. Man. Yeah. <laughs> like, care, An AI generated bro. picture won a photography yeah, competition. Yeah, I think we talked about that. And, yeah. uh, the person who submitted it as soon as he won was like, I, AI generated this to highlight the dangers of this thing. Blah, See? blah, blah. So, I, I don't know. I'm kind of with Prem. I feel like the future is inevitable. Mm -hmm. So you got to find a way to live with it, work with it, because there's no other way. Yeah, we're gonna, it's here now. Yeah, we're all going to turn into computers right. eventually. I don't shit, know if like a sentience years. is, you know is I mean? it really going to be a thing for AI, <laughs> but... And then me and Producio I mean, when you was talking say about motherfucking this. artificial intelligence, which means it learns <laughs> to get smarter. You but know it only it learns from a limited pool yeah, of data. Like Even put, though it's yeah. a shit ton of data, it's it's still everything there is to know in the world is still everything there is to know in the world. Well, I think some asshole is definitely going to come and try to make it, make it malicious itself. and shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, but, that's the danger, yeah. but I, I don't know but if that's think, ever yeah, actually going to happen. I think we good right now. And I'm yeah. I'm, I'm very cool with technology. Okay, that's so cool. Let's, let's do this. Thing. We just we brought up Miley Cyrus potentially having an AI album, Rihanna Beyonce, Drake Weekend. Who would you want to hear yeah. an AI generated cover of? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm gonna get back to Amir's question. Okay, too, yeah, yeah. Wanna, yeah. Well, 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 wait, let's do his question let's, first. Right, I'll put a pin in this one. What I'm yeah, saying, yeah. and let's get I back to Amir's even, question. Never mind. I shouldn't even have said it because now I'm gonna get more backlash and shit. But uh, <laughs> Power never, never, You're watching Power? never watched Power. Never. I think I watched a couple episodes. I was into it low key. I watched it in my homeboy. There's a lot of fucking in Power. And then, and then I just tried to watch rewatch it on my own. I just couldn't get into it. Mm. I might try it again. Movie. I might try that one again. He asked about movies. Oh yeah, you're right. Because I did say Big Bang Theory. Yeah, he said movies, TV shows. Oh, I was like, I did say Big Bang Theory. So and also Empire. I never watched. 
Empire either. Oh, uh, Empire never was hilarious. A, never, it was hilarious. You know what's it hilarious? wasn't meant to be a comedy, I don't think. But it was yeah, I was laughing I'm a Terrence Howard shit. fan, too. I fuck with Terrence Howard. You know I, might, I might get to those eventually, but those are ones that I just never wanted to even give a fuck. I feel you. You know what's funny as fuck with me when I rock with Prim so much? You ask him about a lot of hood shit, he ain't never seen it. Mm-hmm. But the nigga do a whole Prim's list. <laughs> well, and I understand it's like you do catch up on some of the shit you write. Well, no, I think that's the that's the thing, too, because like, like nobody's seen all this shit, bro. Like there's right. so much you haven't seen. Like and people like and everybody's like, oh, you ain't seen this and that. Like you can like you know what I mean. Like I feel mm. like that's that's a, a one of the purposes of my channel is just to kind of yeah kind of gotcha. get people hype or get people hip to because all that shit you know what I mean. Like that shit is old as fuck and it's dying media type of shit. Yeah, like yeah, not yeah. power and empire specifically or whatever, but, but that's just, that's yeah, the type like, of shit I haven't seen as people hype up like you know shit like. The field of dreams. Yeah. I've never seen that fucking movie, yeah, and I don't like think that, I'm ever man. gonna see that movie. I think it's. I think it's when it comes, especially when it comes to like black people. Let's just keep it a buck. Yeah, you say certain shit to black people that you ain't watch. You ain't seen certain shit. Like look how yeah, we kind of right? always look like how that, we yeah, went yeah, in Prim. said like he, he didn't like <laughs> Boomerang, nigga. Right. But if you tell a nigga you ain't never seen Juice, if somebody tell a nigga they ain't never seen Minister Society, yeah. shit like that, niggas like, how dare you never seen Well, I mean, everybody does, though, because white people, you tell a white person you never seen Jurassic Park or whatever, they be yeah. like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so, bro, you, know. you never fucking watched Jurassic Park, bro, the fucking dinosaur. Someone in the comments said the AI generated Prim's good cinema. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, he's you like, could he's just like, like you're lazy, shit. you want to do episodes yeah, right? and shit. Pickle chin eyes, just throw a pickle chin eyes boy in there or something. They could do this, it. this nigga Prim start getting nervous, be checking the channel every day. Someone's like, what the fuck? What did this computer say? Uh, yes. No. Yes. I'm gonna have some AI competition. He's gonna be hilarious. Yeah. He's gonna take up all the views and shit. All right. So. Oh yeah. So <laughs> who would I want to see as an AI artist? Yeah, or AI, AI cover. Shit. Anybody, man. Yeah. Anybody. I'm trying man. to hear that Prince Michael Jackson shit. We never got, bro. Oh, yeah. Yes. We, gotta go we to never the, get that. The dead celebrities. Oh, absolutely. You could. Uh, they could do anything. Anybody, anybody bro. You know what I mean, you can Fifty hear. Cent featuring Michael Jackson. You That'll know, you fire. could do Elvis Presley featuring Fifty <laughs> Cent. Yeah, you don't got Elvis Presley doing Tupac now that you come on, bro. Okay. Come on, bro. Featuring the, Beethoven and yeah, shit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Being played by Freddie Mercury. Uh, from, okay. Uh, Mozart Freddie Mercury produced. featuring Tupac. Okay, that's what's Freddie up. Mercury doing Chris Brown songs. Dude. Yeah, that would, would be crazy. Oh, man. Man. You can do any of that shit now. What bro. do they know? We gotta look that up. Do they know what AI generator created that Drake weekend? You song? can actually just. I think it's a. a you, there's a website for it now. Cause it's not Chad GPT. He no, just no, no, does. No, there's a website where you can just put shit in. Yeah, yeah. And it'll just put the two together. Yeah, right. I definitely got to start playing. Right, let's with make AI some mixtapes. Oh man, <laughs> <Yeah. definitely. laughs> this shit would be hard. I'm into it. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, so we got that. I was I was trying to prep for a potential quote we will have a little bit later on okay, in yeah. the day. <laughs> so we were talking about also rap lyrics, right? Yo, we're speaking of you know artists and shit mm. like that. When you listen to a lot of rap lyrics and shit, a lot of times you'd be like, wait, this nigga just say what the fuck I think he just said? So we wanted to bring up, what are your most sus rap lyrics? What are your most suspect ass? Hey, I think what? the most famous one of all time is the Biggie one, right? Which Where one? Where he's like, uh, you look so good, I'll suck, you, suck on your daddy's dick. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's, that's classic. Yeah. There's no way around that shit. Bro. There's no way around what that shit. What the fuck are you talking about, man? I suck on you. You're like, oh. What, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, but there's a lot more than there's that. There's a but lot I th- more. I thought that was the most famous one, no? No, I probably. <laughs> I, I think about... Uh, when cannabis was was beefing with LL Cool J in the second round knockout, this nigga say, uh, "You make I'm more cash than me, but you ain't got the skills to you eat a nigga's ass, ass like, like me." me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like, "Whoa, whoa. Uh, I don't know if I uh, want those skills, whoa. sir." <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> I get what you. Was. If I was LL, I'd be like, all right, nigga, you win. You won. You won, you nigga. nigga. Like, what? Ass like you ain't got the skills to eat a nigga. Oh, ass yeah. did, like... we, did we talk about the Birdman video? Was that that was that during No Sound or what? Oh, oh. Did we talk about that? Well, I don't know if it was. I got... Birdman's one is uh, from Number One Stunner. <laughs> I like to fuck them in their ass while they beat up the pussy, but I'm like, I think you're talking <laughs> about fuck them in their ass while they beat up the pussy. Yeah, Whoa. that's a lyric. That's of a his. lyric, nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, but that I think he's talking, talking about a threesome. Like a strap on I, I'm, or something. Oh, I'm like, I don't know the logistics. It just sounds We've fucking to crazy. Talk about cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, I am Lil Bow Wow song. Let's get down. Uh, Birdman is on that, what and he's uh, it's like an ad lib. He's like a. Uh, 
Now I'm about to touch a penis, little bow wow. He definitely says it. Excuse me, what? Excuse he what? says I'm about to touch a penis, little bow wow. Touch a penis, little bow wow. Yes, yeah. I will, y'all, y'all continue. I'm sorry, I'm what? Get get the fu- yeah, I was like, for real? Right now. Get the fuck that out. can't be real. That can't be real. Holy that's some AI shit. shit, nigga. Nah, I that's was, real. Uh, well, that's the, um, was it, is it Rockstar or Lap Dance by NERD where Pharrell go, guess you ain't heard that we swallow guys. Yes, I have. Oh, wow. like, yeah, I apologize. Uh, I was like, what the yeah. fuck? Sus is shit. Absolutely sus. You ain't heard that we swallow guys. Uh-huh. It's too damn late to apologize. Yeah, nigga, apologize for saying that shit. <laughs> <laughs> apologize for saying, uh, wait, Tupac said we bust on bad boys, niggas fuck for life. Oh, yeah. Whoa, that's too much. Well, we bust on bad see, boys. See, there was hella pause. I mean, yeah, that's, threats that's different because slang 90s. was different. Yes. Yeah, slang was if different. If you listen to Dre Day, it's like, yo, there's a whole bunch teeth of teeth in your mouth, so my dicks got to fit. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> yeah, all that shit. DJ Quick All right, I think I, oh, yeah. I think I got the part. All right. Okay, yeah. Oh no, hold on. Okay, hold on. This is this is hilariously this, sad. It was the most replayed part, of course it is. Yeah. That wait, that can't be right. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> I love this. Wait, run that back. No, no, no I can't. Can y'all hear that me? That can't be y'all what he what said. I'm about? <laughs> no, 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 no. I refuse. <laughs> no, I refuse to believe. No, wait. Hold on. That's up. Yeah, he said it. You heard it. Oh. Touch. No, no. It's no. gonna fuck up my don't, yeah, don't my whole. <laughs> what about to test yeah, your pe- he said I'm about to test your penis, little Bow Wow. Mm. <laughs> so like, no, no, penis. no. We have to clear this up. <laughs> we gonna put some respect on his name. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> niggas, niggas say he's it's saying test, test your peas. Like what does that mean? Well, what is, is, that, that, is that a, that a slang term? You yeah, I don't know. Touch what your peas. Does that even mean? Because yeah, he sends him over there to talk to a girl. So yeah. touch your peas might. And I hate the fact that the name of the song is Leather So Soft. What? Oh no, that's no, that's not leather. Hey, Greg, so soft. Oh, it's different shit. Uh, no, leather so soft go hard though. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I just like <laughs> tell people in the chat to kiss my ass sometimes. Leather let's so get so down is the name of the song. Oh, that's, let's that's get down. Let's, let's get down. Let's get down by Lil Bow Wow. Uh, I mean, yeah, everybody has some very has questions about it when you Google it. Yeah, you said Birdman had the. I got to look up that video. What did he say? Oh, oh bro, I was Meek showing Mill Jay got one. before Meek we got, got here. One. Hold on, we before we get to Big Bill. Okay. There's a there's a video. Of the Cash Money Millionaires performing, and they start bringing audience people up on stage, women to dance to j- back that ass up. And for whatever reason, Birdman starts being like, "These dudes right here, they've been fucking with me all night. Bring them up here." And she gets real excited about bringing dudes on stage, and he goes, "I fuck with niggas too, like real, <laughs> like jovial." <laughs> And you, if you watch the whole hey, clip, y'all looking good. at what point BG and Juvenile was like, yo, there's too many dudes up here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, that that is crazy. hilarious. Nigga, Meek Mill got a lyric say, they call me Mr. Fucking Nigga. I don't need a hoe. Okay, oh, see what? Do it, yeah, nah, yeah. nah, bro. They pr- that is prison a ass lyrics. That. That, is a say pause, nigga. that is a Meek Mill day. Pause worthy raps. Everybody keep bringing up this one. I keep seeing this one keep popped up. Uh, three niggas in the room, first time I was tossed. Wait, what? It's Kendrick Lamar. Oh, no. Well, I mean, he was speaking from a girl's perspective. I remember that song. Yeah, I know. Everybody read that. That's what I was like, yeah. yeah she's yeah. talking about the girl story. That's yeah, what yeah, yeah, out of context, yeah, that that's crazy. Yeah, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> the ones that we're talking about, like, what is the context? Yeah. Is my question. You know, uh, eat a nigga's ass Contest like me. <laughs> Touch yeah. a penis, <laughs> Oh, man. I, I got I to watch that Birdman video, though. I thought like niggas too was hilarious. It's literally crazy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's the, what's the next time? <laughs> Kidnap your favorite bitch and throw a baby off the ledge. Whoa, that's goddamn. That is that's just aggressive. Yeah, gap teeth in your mouth. Some of dicks got it. There's a whole thing of like Dr. Dre. Uh, Sus lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Before I beat him like a whoa, Wayne got a lyric. Before I beat him like a dick, he had it coming. Before I beat I mean, him like a dick. That's clever. That's kind of yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's clever that's a little, shit. That's a little bit sus. I mean, D- DJ Quick sus. has a diss to MC8 where he goes. Now, I never had my dick sucked by a man before, but you're going to be the first, you little bitch asshole. And it's like, <laughs> you. <laughs> that's sus, but it's real gangster and intimidating. Yeah, man. I guess so. But no, that's very sus. 
I'm heading <laughs> west like, like I'm fucking blowing Kanye. Damn, this. Oh, that's uh, Kendrick Charles was Gambino. speaking from Isaiah Rashad. I saw that. I'm like, come <laughs> on, <laughs> brother. <laughs> what happened? You said Kendrick was speaking from uh, Isaiah, Isaiah Rashad's, Rashad's point. That's point. fucked up. He really got tall. That's or whatever. Yeah, up, no, that's not funny. Yeah, as we laughing at this thing. He was like, okay, so that was. So yeah, we did those with the uh, sus lyrics. <laughs> oh my god, what else did we talk about? So you wanted to talk about uh, best. We didn't really get into best work, best and worst sports movies ever last week. It's a lot of shit we really. Oh, no, we didn't get into those, did we? Yeah, we didn't. So what are you? What would you? Because we just talked about the trailer for White Man Can't dr- Jump. Uh-huh. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the shit. We saw that shit, and that just threw us all the way off course. Sure, sure, sure. So what would you say is some of the best? Well, I don't know movie. about the best, but one of the ones I went to a lot was uh, Coach Carter. Shout out Coach Carter. Oh, no, Samuel yeah, yeah, Jackson. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Jackson, all of them. Even yeah. though, to think back on I haven't watched it in some years, but it's probably some generic ass bullshit. <laughs> some of those feel good type of movies. Yeah, and yeah. Shit, but, I mean, all of them. I mean, yeah, I'm going to say sports movies all going to go there. There's very few sad anyway. hood sports movies. I guess, movies. right? Yeah, they want to feel good Money after ball, the sports, nigga? right? Yeah, I mean, Moneyball. Moneyball is a sad hood movie. I've never seen it. Is it hood? I've never seen Moneyball. You're right. It's a sad sports movie, though. You're right. Is it hood? Uh, yeah, crossover, yes, I would cross hilarious. Over, you, know. you just did uh, like Mike, didn't you? I did do like Mike. You're right yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to do what's that? Sunset Park next. So Sunset, Sunset Park. Park. <laughs> it's time to represent. It's time to represent. Come on, represent. Sunset Park. My favorite part of that shit is with Terrence Howard. It, he's like, I'm about to go kill my teacher. And he pulls out his crazy ass sword. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a knife. It's like a sword. That's crazy. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while either. Uh, so any yeah. given Sunday is a, is a dope Oh, yeah, dope any given Sunday is yeah, a fire. Yeah, yeah. It's fire. A, my name is Willie. <laughs> I keep the ladies keep creaming. Oh Even though there was two the real two sus ass moments in that movie like where they showed dudes dangling for yeah, no they, reason. They were yeah. Definitely hung. I mean, not, not much. <laughs> not much like hung. <laughs> You can hit the pause button. I hit the pause, pause. button for my Lexus and still. I mean, I mean, I was definitely just like out in the open. I guess I didn't mean to say. That's weird. That might have been that might have been some subliminal shit. There, it was because then they showed them in the in the stalls. Because they were abnormally long. Well, I was watching that shit with my girl and shit. Where I was like, Come "Yo, on, bro, dog. Like, yeah, 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 stop tripping, stop tripping." Oh so shit! Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Pause, pause, pause. Yeah, and now we good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, shout, shout out to, to Fox, Fox, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, not shout out to him, but yeah. Yo, did you hear some like <laughs> more more phone. info was coming out about they said he he actually almost he died on set. Yeah, that's well, they crazy. had to revive, they had to revive him. Yeah. That's wild, man. So it's like you know, like yeah, hopefully he good. Like, he's man. they say he's getting better, but again, we don't know to the extent, man. And all our thoughts and prayers yeah. are up for Jamie Foxx, man, because that man is an icon. In what he does, yeah, he rich as fuck. He can get the best health care. They, they can. I'm, I'm glad. I'm sure they can get him back. Just yeah. put some stem cells in this nigga. Or something, right. so, you know what I mean? <laughs> inject Anything. this nigga with a, a baby fetus. Or <laughs> what? That's what stem cells are. I know, but she's like, just, just put, just give it's just a baby fetus, fetus gumbo, nigga. They just fucking stir it up. No, oh, wow. <laughs> Feed a nigga a baby fetus in gumbo. Not in gumbo. I said it's in fetus the, gumbo is all it really is. Just. Nigga, yeah. back to the sports movie. Press nigga, to test y'all peas. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't testing nobody peas out here, man. That's hilarious. Nobody testing no peas. That's man. hilarious. But oh, uh, Creed, Creed, Creed is the Creed shits. Yeah. The Rocky shits is great. Uh-huh. Uh, Major League, The Longest yeah. Shard. Rocky's probably Long one Shard's of the good. Which one? Say, they probably say it's the greatest. The one. remake. The remake. The remake. With Steve one. Austin is yeah, a racist. Austin, and yes. <laughs> yes. Who is nowhere near like that in real life? Absolutely not. That's yeah. good. Uh, Long <laughs> Shard. Oh, remember the Titans, nigga. Yeah, that's oh, fire. Titans, that, that's yeah, goaded. So absolutely. fire. That's goaded right Above there. Above the rim or whatever. Above the rim is goaded. Birdie and shit. Handle uh, yeah. <laughs> your Tupac. business. Handle your bunks. business. Bunks. Bunks. <laughs> Crazy hard, stupid bunks. Yeah, well, anytime you bunks. got Birdie Mac. Did you ever play for bunks back in the day? No, I, I, I never didn't know, know what that was to that movie. Yeah, I was like, what the hell are you talking about? They made that shit up or what? I assume it's real. Because the director was a gay man, right? Is this nigga not gay? Oh, I don't know. I hear there's a lot of gay allegories going on throughout the and above, above the, the rim? rim yeah holy shit i yeah, don't I'm have to rewatch it with the gay Wait, glasses what? on yeah. yeah i mean that might just be a rumor i might just be getting it mixed up with another movie but uh, <laughs> somebody looked that up yeah see what see what's going on with they they do the with some golden ones happy gilmore oh radio he said radio, he said radio. <laughs> 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 trash this nigga can't play sports don't quit don't quit the 
Uh, <laughs> Remember that was the shit they used for the commercial, uh, and it was yeah. like, yo, out of all the shit, yeah, you're they not did. supposed to do that, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're I'm not watch, supposed uh, to go full that way. Eddie and shit with with Whoopi Whoopi Goldberg. Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg, yeah, you know that was saying? another Stacey one. Stacey Patton don't practice, <laughs> nigga. That shit was. Yeah, who was the one big ass Russian dude? Uh, Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne, to take charge. Yvonne, take charge. Oh, you know what? And no one ever talks about pro. I like semi pro. Oh, I like semi pro. I like semi pro. I like semi pro a lot. Yeah, you ain't like semi pro. Nah. You think Andre 3000 was funny? Nah. You know? What? Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, producer, yo, with me, bro. <laughs> producer, yo, rolled over to us yeah, and yeah, gave yeah. us double that thumbs down. That movie is Basura, bro. That shit trash, bro. Why? Big is it not funny? Or is not to me. Sugar Duncan, man. I get that everything was like, I get... When you see the trailer, you're like, "Oh, this is about to be hilarious." Then yeah, I watched it, I, I was like, right. "Yeah, you I know, guess. love me, uh, sexy Jackie Moon." Nah, yeah, baby, 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 love me, sexy. That's that's fire, that came bro. out as a single. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was on it. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, nigga. Baby, baby are you ready to lick me, sexy? Get on your knees and suck me, sexy. Y'all niggas, we have speakers at the Folsom Fair playing that shit. Yeah, love me, sexy on there. One that people don't talk about much is a. You ever seen Celtic? Pride with Damon Wayans, with Damon Wayans and, and uh, Dan Aykroyd, one of the robbers from fucking uh, was it Home Alone and shit? Oh yeah, uh, was it Daniel Stern, <laughs> Daniel Stern yeah. and uh, Dan Aykroyd, and yeah. Dan Aykroyd. Yes, they yeah. play. They're like two obsessed Celtics fans, and Damon Wayans is like the star player for the Jazz, and they kidnap and they in the him, finals, so they kidnap him. So the okay. Celtics can win the That's finals. That's hilarious, bro. It's, it's one of Judd okay. Apatow's first, first movies. Uh, movies that he wrote. Okay. Uh, y'all remember Great White Hope? Yeah. I, I never yeah, seen that. Game Wise, yeah. yeah, I never actually seen that. I watched Mateen that put me on and made me watch Great White Hype is fantastic. Yeah. I, mean, great, I said Great, great White Hope. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Great White Hype. Yeah, great White Hope's a real funny. movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is, right? What about, did y'all ever see Undisputed? Oh, we're oh, being raised. So. Is it Wesley Snipes? Wesley Snipes the in jail. in prison box. I don't know if that's a sports movie. <laughs> More I mean, than a- <laughs> I mean, it's about niggas boxing in the prison. Yeah. yeah. You know, Monroe. You know what I'm saying? Monroe. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. A, that's like a jail movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think that counts. But no, Great White Hype is a fucking classic. Yeah, that's just funny. Yeah. Yes, Great White Hype is, is dope. Mm. Yo, we ever sit back one day and just do. Damon Wayans movies. I was okay. He's in a lot of dope. I ass literally shit, just bro. had that thought. Damon Wayans is low key goaded, bro. Brother? You think he's the greatest Wayans brother? Yes, he is. I don't know Over if he's Keenan? the greatest. Well, no, because Keenan, you would have to give Keenan his props from as much well, as he's directed it and created. That don't mean he's Keenan said off, but Keenan also did. Got, I'm gonna get you, you sucker. sucker. Oh, yeah. Hollywood Shuffle. He live in color. Yeah. Hollywood Shuffle. He he wrote for Eddie Murphy. Like he major did pain. some. Yeah, you know, he got major pain though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what just Damon's in colors as one of the Crips. Damon oh, is, is yeah. Is Damon is in. Uh, Damon, isn't he in Beverly Hills Cop? He has a small part in it. Yeah, he's, he's a very small part in it. He's been in some serious fucking flicks, man. Yeah, Major Payne is dope. Blank man, Bla- yo, <laughs> Blank man, the, the director bro. Mike Mike Binder. Yeah, yeah. he's back doing stand up. We now. talked about yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's, <laughs> seeing him like seeing him live because I was at the Long Beach Laugh Factory with him, and I was like, yo, <clears throat> let me just say this. I just rewatched fucking Blank Man the other day. You know, how you just put some shit on to have it on in the background. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. I put on Blank yeah, Man. Blank Man's funny. Yeah. And didn't realize till you know I was like, oh yeah, Mike Binder. Why does that name always used to sing ring, ring a bell? And then saw this nigga's name as the director was like, oh shit, it's the same yeah. one. Uh-huh. That's what's up. So like, I think Damon, a low down dirty shame for Keenan. I don't know why people don't get that. I movie love that movie. Bro. I love that fucking movie. Y'all. I love that movie. A lot of people need to give a low down dirty shame more props. And I think I said it before on the show. That's my favorite version of Jada. Peaches. She's so bad in that movie, dog. Nigga. Jesus Christ. The scene with uh, <laughs> Shame getting bad with Wayman. No, the, the scene where he pretends to be Wayman's boyfriend. For, oh, that yeah. shit is hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't remember. I, yeah, I got you never seen that movie? It. I've, oh, seen, it a, okay, I've yeah. seen it a bunch of times. As oh, that's a, a perfect kid, candidate yeah. for Prim. Yeah, yeah, right. that's you got to see it. You got to watch a low down dirty show. Okay, yeah. I'm going to do it. You wait for like Keenan birthday or something. Because <laughs> what he did, because he took like all the little 90s action cinematic, mo- cinematic movie tropes and it just Keenan like made a, a movie. Out. Yeah, it's, it's not like a parody though. It's a it's an actual movie. Yeah, it's not like Black Dynamite and shit. Or not like I'm gonna get you sucker either. Yeah, because I remember from what I remember, I remember he was like actually doing like badass type of shit. Like oh, he yeah, wasn't like glamour man like, and shit. Man. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, that's what's up. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely check Somebody it out. Somebody brought up medium man. <laughs> would y'all go to a? Would y- if if there was a uh, live well, I'm show? Af- I'm afraid to. No, no, no. It's nothing bad. Okay. If it was like Keenan Damon. Dame Jr., Shantae, Sean, and Marlon all doing stand-up. Would you go to that show? Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it would depend on. You trying to do a Wayne store? Have they never done a Wayne no, store? No, they before? never Sean have. Sean and Marlon have gone together, and that's about it. Sean and Marlon gone together. Damon and his son have gone out together. Shantae opens for him sometimes, but okay. never all of them. Yeah, I, but why? You got to. That's crazy. I don't know if I'm doing inside baseball or not right now, but you got to think they all got different agents, and you know, it's like it's it's just too much of a Tetris yeah, game. What would the yeah. lineup be though? <clears throat> that's the other thing. Who closes? So Shantae hosts in the right? middle. I mean, yeah, you know what it is, bro. It's, 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 <laughs> There's sibling rules at that point, you know but what I mean? Like maybe. you just bully the little ones but and make them go first. Because and shit. here's the problem with that, bro. Make you Marlon got... dumbass go first. You just smack him or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you like, get your dumb ass. You, know, you smack Marlon. Get your dumb yeah, ass. Get, him, get out of the stage. Because like you think about it, like does Marlon go? Because Marlon just recently has a special, but that's that would put him like two before the end, right? Damon Jr. knows what he's doing. Yeah. Damon is a monster. Yeah, yeah. Damon Sr. is Damon one Sr. Of the is best. a motherfucking monster, bro. Mm -hmm. And then Keenan, I think Keenan would actually go earlier. I think but Shantae I don't know hosts, if he would be down for that. He the oldest brother. You know what I mean? Like Prince said, he you know. Well, yeah. I think and he's been they, doing it the longest. I think they know how to get the bag. I think they would know how to organize it. Like, they're not. Yeah. yeah but, that, yeah, it does seem like it would be a pain. But if they could get this shit popping, I would... 100 percent It's like not, way. but that show would be like four days. Because then you would think the ones <laughs> not every way in, you know. Because it'd be more <laughs> ways just popping up to us. Well, let me get a guest spot. Hey, that's now, right. Craig and then don't even stand up like that. Like, you like, like what the fuck? And then come Damien out of nowhere. Right. Craig, Damien, all these cats. The whinings and shit started popping up. Wayne's and whinings too. So it's all it's melodic and hilarious at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody said, because I mean, said Denise could host. That's what I'm saying. I think Shantae would host it. Yeah, yeah, probably. I think you'd have Shantae host it. No, Kim should host it. She's funny. Oh, me. Jesus Christ. I forgot about you Kim. Don't do Kim, stand right? up, though. But no, that's what I'm saying. She could just she host just, it. Just yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, she run around and be like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how she, wait, that's how she sound wait, on mine. Shit. Oh, <laughs> Why'd you make her a turkey? I don't do impressions. I don't do impressions. That was definitely a turkey, though. That was all right. That was definitely a gobble do it again, gobble. Do it again. I'm not doing this. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got some who wins. Oh, actually, I wrote. I was watching y'all in the comments. Thank y'all for these. Uh, I got some who wins. If y'all trying to get into that, let's now. get into them. Should we, we do the Wayne's family battle royal? <laughs> <laughs> battle royale. Say so what? Somebody said what about the ninth Wayne Tommy Day? Tommy would be the probably twelfth. Yeah, you know. You said who? Tommy Davis. Tommy Davis would be the unofficial twelfth. <laughs> not, oh, he's the unofficial ninth <laughs> He's The unofficial twelfth <laughs> win. That's nigga. hilarious. Uh, hey, so all right, let's all right. get it. So, in the spirit of things, man, we got Jerry Springer versus Maury. Oh, Jerry Springer fading Maury, bro. Is he though? I think so, man. I think Jerry Springer. I think Maury is like he's like us. You know what I mean? He'd be like getting spray tanned up and he'd be like but on that's his what I'm saying. He might work like out, low key and fuck you up though. Nah, I don't think Maury's so, so cool. <laughs> you don't, Maury's so he's cool. He's like on his pretty back. boy shit. Like, like Jerry be out there doing coke and shit and with the guests and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fucking hoes I don't know. And all Jerry, shit. Jerry was like, wasn't and he like, like a politician? He was the mayor of Cincinnati. In their primes. Maybe not as their yeah, old man. Yeah, like he was the mayor of Cincinnati before he was a talk show host. Well, what was Maury? What was Maury doing? Yeah, Maury was married to Connie Chung from a current, he was Doing a I know, but that was, that's what I'm saying. Journalist ass I mean, oh, yeah. ass <laughs> Damn, who? I don't know, man. That's all a right, good one. This is how you break it down. Sally Jesse Jerry, Raphael man. beating all both their ass. Because Jerry's no, you know, Jerry picked up some fight moves and shit on the. You know I, mean, I mean, he had to deal with a lot more violence. I didn't know his name was Maurice Richard Povich. Like, he know what to do in a fight. Like, he's saying, is that really he's his name? Is that, go back. Maurice hey, Richard Povich? That's the blackest name, white Maurice. name I've ever heard. Scroll back up, producer. This nigga named Maurice. Why wouldn't I? Why didn't I know that? Go back, go back, go back. Because they didn't see it. Wait, wait, wait. Maurice Richard Povich. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh, this nigga's barbecue is fire. fire. <laughs> does that change? Does that change? That nigga named Maurice. <laughs> Maurice. Nah, look at him, bro. He look like a damn, he like a conservative ass nigga, man. He can't <laughs> fight. He ain't got no hands, man. Okay, but wait. He from he, well, he from, uh, No, he from DC. So he from Chocolate City. <laughs> where is <laughs> that's where that name came from? Okay. Where, Maurice. Where is uh is, is, is Jerry? Yeah, from? Is Jerry from I think Cincinnati? Jerry might be from is Cincinnati. He from Cincy? I think he's from Cincy. Because yeah. right now I'm leaning towards Maury. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Hey man, don't do my nigga Jerry like that. Oh, he, well, he died in Chicago. Chicago? Oh, he's born in oh, London. He's born in Queens. He's born in Queens. What the fuck did you get in London? Oh, oh. he's born in London, lived in Queens. Okay. Yeah. Raised in Queens. 
Okay, he died in Chicago though. Yeah, so he, he was, was on, living on in Old Chicago. Block soon, 63rd He's or whatever. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> he got Chief Keefe and shit on the last <laughs> episode. Look, Jerry Springer's full name was Gerald Norman Springer. Oh, that's another nigga's oh, name. I thought his name was Jeremiah. Because if you heard, yo, Gerald, Gerald and Maurice outside <laughs> fighting, you know, you, <laughs> you're not thinking to know a white man. <laughs> Gerald and Maurice. <laughs> <laughs> that's facts that's facts niggas say Gerald and Maurice niggas fighting. say Gerald and Maurice you be like oh shit call uh, the police yeah, yeah. nigga oh, move the furniture nigga move the furniture nigga, nigga Gerald, Gerald and Maurice go hard <laughs> Hey, shout uh, out to nigga Gerald, man. Yeah. I, got, I think you got it. But if y'all want to give it to Maurice, I'm giving to Maurice, bro. He Maurice younger too. Up. JP Rudnick said Jerry paid a prostitute with a check. He's winning. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, that's actually that's facts. Crazy. That's actually facts. Is yeah. that really? He gave a he wrote a prostitute a check. Yeah, that's, bro. That's hilarious. Right, 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 right. <laughs> that's why he kicked out of the government. But I'm still going Damn, Maurice. Don't use the fucking per diem to get a hook Bro, or that means you don't get you. You run clean out that's of fucks crazy. when you write like, checks you know, for pussy. You know what? Don't, don't cash this to the 15, please. Memo hoes. <laughs> 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 wow! Yeah, hey, dog. Man. You know what? Any nigga that want to do that is got yeah, hands. That's so sad. Yeah. Yeah. If you write, like he's, I'm sure he's been, in, you know, what I'm saying some shady situations. Yes, where he's, yeah, somebody hemmed him up. Is like, plus you know he had to man, learn some stick and move and shit. shit because people move suddenly but on that set. Got, yeah, but man. he got niggas like Steve Wilkos and all them. Them security niggas came <laughs> security quick. Niggas go. But that's what I'm saying. He's like the, uh, you know, he he's the final out boss. Of city council then for that. Then became mayor. Oh, oh wow. god damn. Yeah, yeah nah, Jerry's yeah, a gangster, G-shit, bro. Yeah, nah. Jerry was out here like, hey, he didn't care about jail or nothing. This no, nigga, this nigga wins, was bro. writing the check. I'm saying, ma'am, I want to tell you first of all, thank you for your services. Yeah. You've done your community a great job. Uh, please don't cash this to That's the 14th. That's beautiful. That's goals right there. That's beautiful. So, hey, we're talking man. about, so again, I think Gerald going? got it. I think so now we're going to Gerald. Yeah, now I got to give it to Gerald. Gerald. Big Gerald. Big Gerald. Big Gerald. Big Gerald. Rest in peace. They don't name kids Gerald no more. Nah, Gerald is Your boy Miri said, I found out when I found out Brett Farr's middle name is Lorenzo. <laughs> That's why he hit Damn. the PPP scam. He was Come like, on, hey, bro. He, what's your name? He with Loren- us. What's your name? Lorenzo Farr. I ain't never met a white oh, Lorenzo. White. <laughs> Lorenzo Lamas. He with us. Crazy. Lorenzo oh, Lamas was, was Spanish or yeah. something. Yeah, he was bad, man. He wasn't he white. from Remember Spain that? and shit. All right. Hey, all right. Next one, we got, uh, we got uh, two movie ones. Okay, okay, we got Melvin from Baby Boy versus Debo from Friday. Ooh. That's a tough, tough lineup. Here, so, okay. Uh, Debo lost to Craig. Yep, yep, yep. So that's that's not that good. Uh, Craig was using weapons, hit him in the face he with, hit a, him with a brick, type of shit. But here's the deal. Did you hear the sound effects when Melvin punched this nigga Jody Doug? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that shit Bro, sounded yeah, he like punched, he punched this nigga, and then his mom, <laughs> the mom, flew into the wall. And shit. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. That's, there was some force behind that. And this nigga, and also anybody. Who's adamant that they just trying to be good and they not <laughs> trying to get it? Trying to fuck you up, you know. What but I mean? also, do you remember that uppercut that Debo uh, delivered to Red over the bike and shit? He did you send him that? flying. Send send that nigga nigga in the air. Yeah. But that means that a Melvin uppercut would send this nigga to <laughs> <laughs> downtown LA, Possibly, bro. Yeah. Melvin, you got to remember this: is how cold Melvin was. Melvin, ran, he let he let Jody talk shit. Walked off. Jody thought he was good. Yeah, came back and hemmed this nigga up. And Absolutely. This nigga was like, yeah, when he licked his head, bro, that's just that's like yeah, that's a different level different. of scary, bro. Right? Right? Uh, uh, call for your mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's some scary. If he was in lockdown, I put you in heels and fix it. It's like, he, nigga. Was, he was dead ass serious too. <laughs> hey, that's different. So if we was going by actors, though. I think Tiny Lister would uh, whoop Bang Rams ass. But Problem with Tiny. Yeah, we talking about the character. That nigga's eye gonna win. I'm about to say, this nigga is <laughs> got is peripherals is <laughs> fucked up, bro. Because they used to talk about that. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Because <laughs> Robin Harris used to talk shit to him, and they said he tried to like get him on stage, and Robin would just, good would just that's do the freak hilarious. move. Just and he's like, oh shit. Um. <laughs> he couldn't even grab it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's wild. Wild. Like, oh, so if you off balance and trying to fight <laughs> Melvin, nigga, you getting your ass whooped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Melvin might get it, bro. Yeah, if you go yeah. act as like Ving Rhames, that nigga's been Luther Stickle for eight movies just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But CIA just so I think we giving it to fucking we giving it to Melvin. I think we're giving it to Melvin. Yeah, plus, yeah, he's more seasoned. Like Debo was on his knucklehead think, shit. Like, but also Debo yeah, used Melvin to be Debo was headlock. a wrestler. Never forget this nigga ended up yeah. training. That ain't real fighting though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker went. I, well, yeah, I, I'm saying Tiny would win, but we if we talking about characters, okay, characters, what we seen of the I'm characters. Giving it to Melvin. I'm, if yeah, Tiny gets I'm a hold of Ving Rhames in real life, Tiny wins. If <laughs> Like I said, if he gets to run around and shit, maybe Ving might have some for yeah. him. But I think Debo <laughs> loses to Melvin all yeah, day. Yeah, I think so, yeah. You lost to Craig. Right. You, yeah, you took Craig out and 
You still and lost. And then you had your little brother's uh, sticky fingers talking shit to you, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what's the next one we got? Oh, that's the only ones I had. The, All right, so I got, ones, got one. I got ones from the, that we didn't get to. So this is the battle of pancake syrups. This is what niggas sent us. Oh, yeah. Pancake syrups. Okay. Ain't Jemima versus Mrs. Butterworth. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, th- this is uh, Aunt Jemima was probably <laughs> around during slavery time, so she used to be. Then they strong. turned her into an auntie. Her, and shit. They, they took her. It. She was a mammy. She was a mammy, and then they time. took it off, and they now that she had auntie. a perm and shit. It was like okay, okay right. so she got two different forms or whatever. Yeah, she yeah. Could turn, yeah. She also, Aunt Jemima right now, <laughs> Aunt Jemima right now got a uh, identity crisis because she is now pearl milling. You know what I'm saying? So Aunt Jemima is dog walking Mrs. Butterworth. I yeah, Miss Butterworth, like she seems like some British, you know what I'm saying, Mary Poppins, Miss Doubtfire type of shit. But Miss Butterworth, she'd be got like, a... "Oh my word!" If like you hit her, <laughs> if you smack her ass in the face, do it again, do it again. <laughs> oh my word! But what if Miss Butterworth got like an army of like butter people or something, or like syrup people? It's, that's all I see when I see her because this is like, I hey, love. Honestly, them. if you're asking which one tastes better, I'm going Butterworth. I'm sorry, bro. I'm Ooh, going really? Butterworth. I'm going Butterworth. Oh no shit! I got a thing for Butterworth. No doubt. Yo, I, I gotta go. go. Yeah, you okay? <laughs> don't like that, that shit. I appreciate the Jemima too. I mean, you can't go wrong. I wouldn't be mad with either or, but I'm grabbing the Butterworth. Yeah, first. plus also Miss Miss Butterworth tastes is, like butter. Is married. Yeah, she she you she been the street. She see? been for through some shit. Bro. She been through some shit. <laughs> yeah. And also, she looked like she got some training. And Jemima, however, looked like she didn't have to fight niggas off. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Angel Mama, Angel yeah. Mama had All to my fight. life I had to fight. She was in her, her <laughs> and Uncle Ben used to have a thing. Yeah. Ben kept talking shit about this rice. She was like, niggas about this syrup life. <laughs> rice and, and then, syrup don't even go together, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> How you saying? Yeah. Ben, stop trying to do this shit. Yeah, you know Angel Mama, yeah, whooping her ass, bro, all day. Look, yeah, look at, at that face. She <laughs> Angel Mama smiling so, and shit. Miss Butterworth. Miss Butterworth, bro. No, I'm saying Angel Mama oh, left the smiling. Miss Butterworth is ice grill. Yeah. Miss Butterworth looks like Harriet Tubman in Boston Glass. Ass, That's nigga. what I'm saying, and she already her hands is folded. Yeah, Miss Butterworth could ready, be bro. like a classically trained, like going some Kingsman type of shit. I'm going with Mrs. Butterworth. I'm going with Mrs. Butterworth. She busts. Is Butterworth? Is she British? Because Butters were Butterworth. No, she sounds, black. Like, she black. She's like Aunt Jemima, dog. Her, right. Her, her. You know what I'm saying? That don't count. She not. <laughs> there was a Mister who <laughs> came in and tried to change her. Oh, but, was Miss Butterworth black too? Yeah, I thought it was a white lady. No, okay. they both like mammies and shit. That's hilarious. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Pull up a picture. See, pull up the ass. Don't hey, you pull Google ass. Mrs. Butterworth's ass. Google Miss Butterworth ass. Oh dude. God. Oh please God. <laughs> Nigga pull up Miss Butterworth. Nigga, ass. Yo, <laughs> yo, what the <laughs> fuck? This <laughs> a thick ass Miss Butterworth. That was the <laughs> first picture. If you look the shit up. <laughs> That's what's up. That's hilarious. What the fuck is that? We. <laughs> We strayed far WD. from God. We have okay, strayed far okay. from God. We have strayed far it, from God's beautiful light. <laughs> God damn, John. Oh man, can Y'all, you put that? Can you, can you put can that, producer, also the chat and see what the fuck this is? That's just crazy. <laughs> we got to put that on the edited episode. That's crazy. <laughs> Holy shit, y'all. We were straight so far. Away. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> Who made this right shit? There. Ooh. Who made this, dog? I want this. I want this, sir. <laughs> I bet I you do. <laughs> and she still got the yellow koofy cap on and shit. <laughs> That's Boy, what we have, hey, with y'all the George is, Peel bead from Kimberly when that nigga was sweating. Y'all niggas is dumb as fuck. Oh, we have strayed so far away from uh-huh. God's beautiful light, nigga. Oh my lord! All missed. right, here go the last one for today. Yeah. <laughs> we need. Do we need the quote first before we go to the last one? Oh, no, we can do the end, right, yeah, end, we'll end the show with a right, quote. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Miss Butterworth was that freak nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why she was she the one that don't want it to come out. Uh this here we go. This is where we y'all ready for the real shit? Yeah. Waffle House employees versus Popeye's employees. <laughs> Waffle House all day. Waffle House because Waffle House is like 24 hours. Like they be having to deal with graveyard shit. Yeah. Like that's when, a different type of crazy When the nigga. white girl blocked off the chair like the Captain America shield. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was the one. She that swatted just, it away. Like <laughs> She was like, that. this is how I'm doing that. Cell, <laughs> swatting away Goku's. <laughs> yeah, Waffle House niggas, niggas different. Yeah, you got to deal with Popeye's crazy. chicken employees had to deal with niggas going crazy over a sandwich. Yeah. Not niggas just Shot over sandwich. Over sandwich, bro. Not just coming through the door. 
You know what I'm saying? Not just coming well, yeah, through. I see, I think so. Popeyes, I think they just hire hardened as people. <laughs> yeah. And Waffle House hardens you like over. <laughs> so I think Waffle House would probably yeah. get, you get better training and shit for <laughs> some action. It's shit. like SEALs training again. <laughs> yeah. Producer said probably. Waffle House on Avengers level fight. <laughs> but I mean, because look, when you see Popeyes brawls, it usually be like fair ones and shit. Waffle House brawls be like the Royal Rumble, Rumble. nigga. It'd be like f- seven and, people. And fighting it also all at once. Like they tell you, like they tell you, go. And then the security part. Yeah, this is the chick. I'm talking about the chick that catch the chair me in there. Bruh. This bitch just shoot it off like fucking negativity. Yeah, she's who is this yeah, bad bitch? Shout out to the, the, <laughs> the reporter of this story looked like Miss Butterworth. <laughs> <laughs> Her name was. I remember like she got fired or some shit after that too. Just. <laughs> this motherfucker wow. was an Avenger, nigga. Bro, Vegeta just. Was, yeah. Now he got phased, bro. That wasn't the first time niggas threw a chair. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't new to this, nigga. Yeah, I'm taking Waffle House all, all day. day. You all see day, that yeah. shit, man? Yeah, man. That I think we gotta go, this that's easy. We got to go Waffle House then. All day. Shout out Waffle. They got a Waffle House out here? Not in LA, I don't no. think so. This no. is on the South and yeah, Midwest. No, I don't think so. All right, let me see. All right, yeah. Let's do the Wesley Pipes code. We got to get out of here. All right. This nigga say you can't knock their teeth out because I already miss it. <laughs> <laughs> can't knock their teeth that out. One. Damn, we did all these different ones. Fuck. Yo, like, okay. <laughs> It'll say you're going to unplug the waffle irons and use them like Scorpion and shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, could. they could. Fucking around. I believe in them. I believe in them. <laughs> He's stupid, Doc. What was this nigga want? Oh, it's just one basic one. This nigga said, don't wipe nothing off. Don't wipe nothing off. Don't wipe nothing, nothing off. off. That's low key hard. That's a bar right Don't there. Don't wipe nothing That's off. That's not like a That's senior like a quote. And shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't wipe nothing off. Don't, Don't wipe nothing off. That could that could fit so many lows. You know what I mean? That's nasty. Can you imagine? <laughs> like, yo, she just they're just like, it's been hours, sir. Don't wipe nothing off. No, but I can see it like on some motivational shit. Like you know, like if you fucking on some most motivational. Like it's like a you know keep all your lessons with you. You know, like don't wipe nothing off. It's a cat hanging. (laughs) Don't wipe nothing off. It's It's a don't wipe nothing off. (laughs) We missed the Wesley pipes and shit on the fucking clothesline and shit. Don't wipe nothing. Just staring directly at you. Hey, yeah, don't wipe nothing off, y'all. Yeah, yeah, for real. That's the that's the quote of the day. We can do that, or we can do a second one. All right, let's go. Ass up, face down, make that shit picture perfect. We on camera. The world gonna see this shit. This dick gonna make you famous. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. The all world right. gonna see this shit. The world gonna see this That's shit. That's right. It's- and That's that has right. been Shout your Wesley Pipes. Pipes quote of the day. Oh uh, my God. Yeah, man. It's a good episode. Y'all seen Wesley's raps? <laughs> What? No, I'm sure I've seen Brian Pumper. Right? Like, oh, these everybody's having, seen I, Brian yeah, Pumper. Yeah, these niggas have these niggas all. Of course, they all went there, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's there's a video. I think it's Jake Steed, <laughs> the legend, driving, and Wesley Pipes is in the passenger seat, and it's some thugged out ass oh, who wow. ran up on these niggas with feet set tripping and what the fuck is like, nigga? What? Yeah, imagine Wesley Pipes running down on you, whoop your ass. You just start laughing and shit. <laughs> Yeah, take you gonna take this ass whooping, nigga. <laughs> yeah, 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 don't yeah, wipe but... nothing off. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with right. Wesley Pipes? Like gang banging non sexually. <laughs> no, that's hilarious, thought, right? That's I can't hilarious. imagine that shit. Hey man, we've been the BBC Club Podcast, hey. man. Make sure y'all follow us, man. I'm Moses Prim, a Princess Cinema on YouTube, Moses Prim on Twitch and everything else. Check us out, man. Uh, Chris underscore please on all the social things like I said thank you for the five star reviews on Apple Podcasts keep them coming and don't let nobody test your peas bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't wipe enough. I mean wipe that off <laughs> that's two contradictory messages yeah yeah, now. yeah it is yo TikTok <laughs> Instagram Twitter Mr. J Washington M-R-J-A-Y you should know how to spell Washington and hey listen this dick gonna make you famous Oh shit. The world gonna see it. The world gonna see it. <laughs> the world gonna see it. Jay Washington gonna make you famous, ladies. Yeah. Hey, appreciate y'all for watching. Peace. One time. <laughs>